Hey there everybody, how is it going? My name is Robert and I'm here today to give you a wicked diminished lick. So it's by far probably my most asked for lick out of one of my videos. So in the Secret of Shred Part 1, um, I played this lick just for a second. I was just referencing like the diminished scale and... I've had a lot of people ask for it and I always meant to make a video on it. Um, I just kept forgetting to, to make one. So this is the... Um, you know, there's the video on that lick. I can't remember where I got it from. I think it might have been, it might have been a George Lynch lick. I'm not sure. He has a couple of them that are kind of like that. Another cool one. It kind of does something like that. But anyways, this is that lick. I'm going to show you guys how to play it. I'm going to add a little um, tail onto the end of it to make it a little bit more interesting for you. But here is the lick. So there's a lot of string skipping in this one and um, quite a bit of sliding. So let's kind of just dive right in. It starts out with one to four on the G, so that's first fret and fourth fret. And then first to fourth on the high E. But now when you play four on the high E, you're going to actually slide up to seven. Then pull back off to four. And then seven four on the G. This is going to be kind of a repeating pattern. So definitely get that first one down. Really good. So after you do the 7-4 to 7-4, now you're going to slide up to 7 from the G, and then you're going to play 10, and then 7-10 on the height. So. Now from this 10, you're going to slide up to 13, pull off the 10, and then 13-10 on the G. You slide up to 13 on the G, then 16, and then 13, 16 on the high E. And then the ending part here is a little bit complicated, but. Now, for the final part here, you're going to slide up to. What is this? Uh, 19 on the high E, and you're going to do 19, pull off 16. Then 18 on the B, then 19 on the G. It's a standard kind of diminished arpeggio. So okay, then you're gonna go back to the high E, and you're gonna do 16 to 18 to 19 to 16 on the G. So like I said, this part's kind of complicated. It, the tabs will be uh, a lot easier for you to follow than me trying to stumble through explaining this. And then 18 on the B, 19 on the G, 16 on the G, to 18 on the D. So. Then you're going to go to, what is it, 16 on the G, to 18 on the D, 20 on the A. So. Then you're going to play 16 on the A, and then just end with some kind of a diminished light chord, and I'm just holding down 16, 17, 18 on the high E, A, and D. So that little part there slow is... Now what I want you to do real quick, let me kind of move, is watch my picking on the ending part, because it's kind of specific. I don't alternate pick it, I go...
thank you for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed that lick. Like I said, a lot of you guys have been asking for that one, so I'm happy to give it to you, and the tabs will be in that video and all that good stuff. But yeah, please subscribe if you would. You can like me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. The links will be right below. Um, I also have another YouTube channel called Life of a Guitar Player. If you're into like watching like vlogs and stuff, it's pretty much just what I do during the day when I'm not playing guitar. Um, there is some still guitar in it and stuff because I obviously I, I just can't quit playing guitar for some reason. I don't know. I'm a nerd. But please subscribe. I got something really really cool planned when I hit 5,000 subscribers. I think we're four subscribers away. So I'm not real sure when this video will go up, and maybe by then it'll will be at 5,000. But Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Keep rocking, keep subscribing, and play some guitar!